Hello, race fans, and welcome to another uh, edition of the Virginia I Racing League. Uh, here we are for the USA Super 50, presented by Executive Security Concepts. Uh, we're at USA International Speedway here. Uh, 78 degree air temperature, winds 4 miles an hour. Track temperature 110 degrees. Um, this is the Super Late Model uh, Series tonight, uh, round number four. Uh, as always, thank you for joining us here at Rice Motorsports TV. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, if you want to know when we do a live broadcast, click that notification bell. And uh, looking at the uh, clock on the wall now, it looks like they're getting ready uh, to roll off onto uh, the qualifying here. So we're going to head on down to the track and uh, see who's getting ready to roll out here. Looks like uh, looks like that's, uh, Kevin O'Brien, I believe, making his way out. We'll put up the timing and scoring tower so we can keep track of uh, who is where. Coming around now to start his first timed run. See what he gets here for lap number one. We will start with a 21064. Looking to improve on that. Making his way out of turn four. And the second lap will be, unfortunately, he does not improve. That's a 21179. So uh the 21064 will be uh, the time to beat. Tyler Sheldon uh, now coming on to the track. 003 machine. Start his first time lap now. See what his first lap will be. He crosses the line. It will be uh, 21398. Second fast. That's three tenths uh, off the leader. Let's we'll see if he can pick up that time. Being careful on that throttle as he comes out of turn four. And uh, he's also unable to improve. Uh, 21607 uh, uh, is his second time. There's Danny Knoll Jr. now. He's getting ready. He's just started his first uh, time lap. Oh, he runs wide there and turns one and two. Really has to get out of it. That'll probably make for a slower uh, first lap here. And he comes now to complete that first time lap. That will be a uh, 21.8. Looking to get a much better lap this time around. Running wide again in three and four this time. Let's see if he's able to improve on that 21.8. Unfortunately, he is not 22.195 for Danny Noel Jr. Next up is the 61, Ben Butler. Here he comes now to start his first time run. Comes down to the line. Let's see what his first lap will be. Second fastest, a 21.111. Looking to pick up on to see if he can bump himself up to that uh, pole position. Stay now low in the turn. Here he comes down to the line. And unfortunately, he's unable to improve. It's a 21.251, his second lap. Next up is Brian Chu coming around to start his first time run here. Coming 
coming out of turn four. Let's see what his first lap will be. It will be uh, good enough for fourth fastest at the moment, a 21.523. comes off a of four. Let's see what he finishes with here. He improves his time, but not his position. Uh, that was a 21.514, but uh, he's still uh, in the um, fourth position there. And last out is uh, the 64 Tony Rice. up high there coming out to start his first time lap here. He comes around for lap one. That will be a 21.854. Improve on that, see if he can move up a little bit. And his final lap uh, improves his time and his position one spot up to fifth, 21576 for the uh, 64 car. And that will do it uh, for qualifying there. And so we'll get ready to. Uh, the cars will grid up for the race. And uh, while we're uh, waiting for them to grid up, let's also want to uh, give a shout out once again uh, to our sponsor, Executive Security Concepts, uh, serving the in, uh, security uh, industry uh, for over 40 years now. Thank them uh, for uh, joining us this evening. Hope they'll enjoy the show. And the drivers, they're finishing up... Uh, the drivers meeting and uh, we'll be getting ready to uh, grid up and uh, as uh, we do so we'll uh, take a short break and uh, we will be right back uh, for the start of the race you're watching the USA Super 50 presented by executive security concepts here on rice motorsports TV Okay, here we are uh, getting ready. For, uh, the cars are rolling off now. Let's take a look at that starting grid on the pole. Kevin O'Brien, Benjamin Butler starting second, Tyler Sheldon third, uh, Brian Chu in the fourth position, Tony Rice starting fifth, and Danny Knoll Jr. Uh, in the sixth position. Lights are out on the pace car. And uh, they'll be doing one more warm-up lap here as they uh, come around and get ready uh, to start uh, this 50-lap race here. Pace laps do count. The track was a little tricky uh, for a couple of the drivers in qualifying, uh, running wide there a little bit, trying to... Uh, Get some grip down on that inside line. Couldn't quite get it, hold the car down there. Uh, the track is a bit warm, so we'll see what happens uh, as we get on the ray here uh, with the race. Pace car should be coming in this time around. There he goes, and we're waiting for the green flag. 
And we got a green and we're racing here at USA International Speedway. And Butler, he's right there with uh, Kevin O'Brien. Trying to uh, catch up to the uh, 84 car there. There's the double the double oh three of Tyler Sheldon O'Brien. He runs wide Boy, he opens the door for Butler. Butler's going to uh, make a move down on the inside. O'Brien still uh, stuck on that high side now. Looks like uh, Sheldon might get by him. He fights back on the outside. But he's still not in position to get down low and he's uh, Going to have to continue to fight. He's going to lose uh, that second position. Tyler Sheldon now uh, into the uh, second place. Looks like the uh, the 17 of Danny Knoll Jr. He might get by as well. Uh, ben Butler, he's uh, off and running there at the front. Well, yeah, Kevin O'Brien, he just cannot get down uh, on that low groove. That's what happens when you get stuck on the high side there. There's not, there's not much you can do. Uh, wait for that train to go by. Still trying to get, you see that car is pushing up high, like I was saying. Oh, and he taps the wall just a little bit. He maintains control of the car. Got a little bit of right front fender damage there on the 84. Looks like he'll be able to continue. Oh, now Danny Knoll uh, looks like he's up into the wall as well. Now he's side by side there with uh, Brian Chu. Butler now over a half second ahead of uh, Tyler Sheldon up to, at the front there. Brian Chu working hard to try to get past uh, 17 of uh, Danny Noble Jr. Oh, look at uh, Knowles. Man, he really went high that time and trying to bring it back down. And this time he runs so wide, uh, they just uh, couldn't help but let the 11 through there. Here comes the 84, Kevin O'Brien now on the 17. They're getting a lot of momentum going into those turns, but the car is just not sticking in those corners. Up the front, Ben Butler, he's uh, pulled out uh, six tenths of a second, almost seven tenths on Tyler Sheldon. He's keeping that, obviously, you can see those two are keeping the car down pretty good on that bottom line. Now eight tenths of a second ahead of uh, Sheldon. Gap is slowly increasing. See how big that gap now has grown up between him and Tyler Sheldon. Ryan Chu in that third spot. Kevin O'Brien, uh, he's gotten past uh, Danny Knoll as well. Now he's going to try to see if he can close in on the 11 car. Ryan Chu himself is now pushing up just a little bit. The 84 wasn't close enough to capitalize on that though. And, uh, He is starting to gain a bit of ground on the 11. Uh, now, she is like four tenths of a second ahead of O'Brien. Oh, and uh, Chu goes way wide there, and the 84 just drives right up under him. Now lap 13 of 50. These laps go, they click off quick here at USA. Meanwhile, further up Tyler Sheldon, he is, uh, he cannot, uh, doesn't have an answer for uh, Ben Butler at the moment, uh, over one and a half seconds behind the 61. 61 is about half a straightaway ahead of the 003.
Ryan Chu now desperately trying to catch the 84. Kevin O'Brien. Sliding it just a little bit. Brian still managing to hold that car down just slightly lower than the 11 going through those turns. That may be all the difference there. Uh, he's able to. Uh, Maintain that gap. Really have to be careful with the aprons here at USA. You uh, get down below that yellow line too much, and uh, this place will punish you for sure. Tyler Sheldon. And Sheldon, he is now 3.2 seconds uh, behind the 61 of Ben Butler. There's Butler coming out of uh, turns one and two there. And he is uh, he's three quarters of a straightaway ahead of the 003 at the moment. Butler with a good command of this track at this time. So only a handful of laps from the halfway point. Kevin O'Brien, he started to close in on Sheldon himself a little bit. About, about six tenths of a second. Between six and seven tenths of a second. Now about eight tenths, actually. Boy, he almost tagged the wall that time. half a second it's almost as if he's lunging into those turns oh no and the 003 hard into the wall now I believe that's going to bring out the caution there and that's uh that will be a caution here on lap 24 Sheldon he's able to continue not too much damage uh, on the 003 Butler, he'll come around and uh, pick up the pace car. Pace car is pulling out in front of him there now. This will be interesting. Now we're and that's almost perfect. We're right here at the halfway point. I'm I'm kind of thinking everybody will come in for some tires, perhaps. We'll see. Yes, and here they come. Butler followed uh, by O'Brien and uh, uh, I'm sorry, by Kevin O'Brien and then Brian Chu. Danny Noel Jr. is coming in. Tyler Sheldon's on his way in. Tony Rice did stay out. That's Butler down his pit stall. Battle off a of pit road. Thinking we'll see if Butler gets out first. He should have got to his stall first. All about hitting those marks. And and then looks like O'Brien's gonna beat him off a of pit road. Kevin O'Brien wins the battle. Butler actually gets jumped by Brian Chu as well. So now Ben Butler is back to the fourth position after leading uh half of this race. Finds himself back in the fourth spot. Kevin O'Brien's now your leader. Looks like Tony Rice is uh, finally coming in uh, to his stall there. Over, overshoots just a little bit, looks like it. Uh, 
tires for the uh, 64 car. Looks like he didn't use a faster pair. Maybe just uh, trying to get a little bit of work done without using one. Better hurry up, though. Okay, he does manage to get out. He'll get out before uh, the field comes around, so he'll be able to come around to the back of the uh, field before they go green again. Lights are out on the pace car. They're getting ready to head down the back stretch. So it's O'Brien, Chu, Butler, Sheldon, Danny Noel, Danny Noel Jr., and Tony Rice uh, in the sixth position. It'll be 22 laps to go uh, when they uh, go green again. Lights are out on the pace car, making their way through turns three and four now. Pace car should be uh, coming off here. Pace car on pit road. Restart on the leader. O'Brien drops the hammer, and we're racing once again. Brian Chu makes a nice jump there to get into the front. He's off to the races, and he's, oh, he's on that high side again. Looks like uh, the 003 of Tyler Sheldon had to check up a little bit to keep from running into the 84. Kevin O'Brien is down on the inside, though, and Chu got a good jump on him on the restart, but he's on that high line again, and uh, he's going to keep racing that high line. But uh, I think eventually he's going to be overcome by that. Ben Butler drives under the 003. There's Danny Noel Jr. Oh, no, is somebody spinning? Ben Butler spun. And we're still green. Did not bring out the caution. Uh, he's able to continue. Butler back to the sixth position, 20 laps remaining. There's Kevin O'Brien. Uh, now squarely ahead of the 11 of uh, Brian Chu. That's kind of like what we saw at the beginning of the race. Uh, somebody in front, and then they, you know, keep running that high line and just couldn't find enough grip uh, to maintain that position up there. Tyler Sheldon now trying to close in on the two front runners. Losing a little bit of ground there. Danny Noel back there in fourth position. He's about eight-tenths ahead of uh, Tony Rice. You can see Ben Butler coming into the picture there at six. Led the first half of this race. Uh, at 16 laps to try to get back up to the front. He's about basically four seconds uh, behind the leader. O'Brien well, still maintaining his lead over uh, Brian Chu. like Danny Noel Jr. is trying to close in on the 003 there, six tenths of a second. Boy, he closed up really t uh, big time there going through turns three and four. Sometimes we'll see guys close up really uh, tight uh, going into the turn, but not always have the uh, drive off the corner to get there, and there's Butler. He's now up to fifth, got around the 64, Tony Rice. And there's uh, Danny Noel Jr. getting closer to the 003. Kevin O'Brien over a second ahead of Brian Chu, uh, running first and second. Thirteen laps remaining in this event. Boy, you can see uh, Tyler Sheldon there. 
slide just a little bit as they come off the corner, trying to maintain a handle on that 003 machine. And everything you can to stay in front of that 17. Everybody uh, got, got fresh tires now. And they know they only have to go basically a half race distance. Everybody's probably leaning on them pretty hard here. The question is how long will those tires actually last? He, it looks like he got out of shape there just a little bit going down the back stretch. Boy, he's flirting with disaster there, uh, catching that apron down there. No, boy, no pulls right onto the bumper of the 003. Here comes the 61 of Ben Butler as well, getting into the picture. I think I just saw uh, the 003 maybe tap the outside wall. Danny Knoll Jr. is right there. Here comes Ben Butler as well. Let's see if Knoll tries to make a move this time. No, he's not close enough. There's Ben Butler also closing in on these two as well. Eight laps remaining now in this event. O'Brien is uh, just over two seconds there. Boy, and the, the double, double 03 really ran, ran, rock, ran wide. Boy, they almost got together going down the, uh, the back stretch there. He's stuck on that high side now. Butler is going to try to drive under him. Boy, that's going to be tight. Oh, and they, oh, and the 003. Gets into the wall there. I mean, might have might have had a little help. He's still going though. It looks like uh, are we going green here? It looks like we're staying green. If you're stationary a certain amount of time, it'll trigger the caution flag. But uh, looks like we're, we're going to stay green here. I stand corrected. Uh, it did indeed uh, trigger a caution. So we are cautioned here on lap six. I'm sorry, with six to go. You know, Kevin O'Brien, he definitely did not need to see that caution. Uh, he had a two second gap uh, over second place, uh, Brian Chu. Chu now coming down pit road. Chu's in, uh, Tony Rice is in. The 003 of Tyler Sheldon's also in. Going to get fresh tires here, so the uh, the top three, O'Brien, Nolan, Butler, elected to stay out, and they're going to have these three with uh, fresh tires right here at the beginning. You know whether that that's going to benefit them or not, who knows? Chu is out, Tyler uh, second off, Rice third. He'll come around to, uh, to the back of the pack here. I believe it'll be one to go as he crossed the line. And uh, actually, it'll be one more to go. So as they come around, uh, we'll uh, take a quick break and get ready uh, for the finale here of this race. You're watching the USA Super 50 presented by Executive Security Concepts here on Rice Motorsports TV. We are back at North Wilkesboro, North Carolina, where the field is rolling out for the start of today's 400 lap race on this .625 mile racetrack. And just as the field comes all around turn number four, the sunshine peeks through, helping warm things here. Bill Elliott leads him down, Benny Parsons on the outside, the green flag flies, and the first Union 400 Winston Cup race from North Wilkesboro is underway.
this will be his 24th career win. Dale Earnhardt wins the first Union 400 at North Wilkesboro. Okay, we're back for the restart here. Pace car is in, and O'Brien, he doesn't waste any time. He's off and running. Boy, Ben Butler is right there. He didn't waste any time whatsoever. And they're all battling behind the 84 and the 61, but the 84 and the 61 just really took off and just about left everybody else there. Then Butler trying to get down on the inside of O'Brien. White flag is in the air, and Butler's going to drive underneath the 84. Got him caught on the high side there, making their way down the back stretch. Here comes Brian Chu trying to hold on. Ben Butler, it looks like he's going to, the 84 runs wide. Butler's going to hold on, and he's going to be your winner here today at USA International Speedway. Congratulations to Ben Butler there. Had a spin earlier and uh, a very fortunate uh, caution came along there and was able to uh, uh, recover and uh, race him his way back up to the front there at the end. And uh, we'll let's take a look at the uh, final results here. Ben Butler uh, is your winner. Brian Chu comes in second. Uh, Kevin O'Brien finishes up third. Danny Knoll Jr. fourth. Uh, Tony Rice fifth. And Tyler Sheldon uh, in the sixth position. And uh, as always, we thank you for uh, joining us here uh, at the Virginia I Racing League. You know, we race on Fridays. Uh, the Legends cars uh, modifies on uh both uh, Friday and the night, the Legends and the Modifieds, and then we do the Super Late Models and the trucks on Saturday nights. And uh, so for all of us here, uh, we want to wish you all a pleasant evening.